Waking Up with... <laughs> Me, Shivaj Prashad, your host on Good Morning Grammar. So you're awake with a cup of coffee or tea, reading the papers, opening your email, turning on the telly or on a call with someone. And see or hear the poor use of words or grammar or even pronunciation. Now any bets you're itching to correct them, but sometimes that may come across as plain rude. Wait, we are here to help you sidestep that sticky situation. Just turn them over to our very own Good Morning Grammar experts. Monday Musings with Charafran Nekra It's quite bugging when you get a call from a call center and it's a different issue that you recognize the voice of most people from a call center nowadays. There seems to be this kind of type or template that they follow. But what really irks me is that moment when the person says is that Sharif Rangneka sir you are holding X bank's card now how the hell do they know what's in my hand so I kind of look left kind of right and I look at my hand and I wonder like what are they talking about I'm not holding a card I'm holding a phone in my hand and the other one has coffee perhaps That's the worst way to really have a conversation. This is almost like stalking. It's almost like telling you they know what you're doing, what you're doing with your hands. Jesus, stay away from that kind of stuff. I find that it is much better if they just ask whether I bank with X bank and do I hold a credit card with that bank and then if they have something to offer, state that. To almost sound definitive about what is in my hand and which bank I'm banking with and whether I have that credit card, it's like presumptuous. It's just not working. It's it's highly inappropriate to say the least. Again, I would say, keep it simple. What do you want from me? What do you want to discuss with me? Say that. Say that we believe you hold that card or you are a credit card owner of X bank or Y bank, whatever it is, and just say that this is what you have on offer or they want to clarify anything, or go to that. So anyone wants to talk to me about these kind of things, these kind of calls, this kind of stand language stuff that we all go through, reach out to me on my social media handles on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, just search for me by my name and I'll be there. Until then, see you next Monday for more musings on Good Morning Grammar. I hope what you heard was useful, but we'd love to hear from you as well. You too can feature on any episode by sending in your requests or feedback with a voice message on WhatsApp on plus 91 or via email at shivraj at brevis.in. We'd be happy to read out your message here or even play it on an entire Friday special episode. Have a good day and stay tuned for another fresh episode of Good Morning Grammar.